tonight <clears throat> at 8 p.m., the New York Islanders will play the defending Stanley Cup champion, Tampa Bay Lightning, in a Game 7 to determine who will play for the 2021 Stanley Cup. Okay? And I wanted to take a moment and just internalize where the New York Islanders currently are. Regardless of what happens tonight at 8 p.m. and beyond, or how this finishes, whether they advance uh, or whether they don't, or whether they advance and don't do much from there, this moment, this game, Game 7, for all intents and purposes, this is the Eastern Conference semifinal. For all intents and purposes, this is the Eastern Conference final. Think about where this franchise was just five years ago, six years ago. The first last closing of Nassau Coliseum and NHL hockey about how that roster was constructed how certain pieces came to be. Letty and Boychuk, a lot earlier in the offseason prior. How that team performed. What that meant. And now what an opportunity is presented to that franchise five years later, six years later. They could close Nassau Coliseum with at the very least a berth in the Stanley Cup final, something they have not done in reaching the final since 1984. They hadn't been as close as they have in the last two years since 1993. And for those of you that are fans and you are like me, 25 years old or younger, by far and above, this is the best team in our lives. By far and above. It's not close. Obviously. Both in terms of maybe now roster construction. But look at the results. Argue with that, huh? July 1st, 2018. Would you have believed on that day being told, hey, give it three years. Give it two years. Hell, Give it a few months, in all reality, in terms of how the tr franchise's future, how the trajectory was affected from that moment forward to where we are now. This moment, this Game 7, to determine whether or not the Islanders go to the Stanley Cup Final, this moment only existed for my entire life, and I'm sure for many, many, many others. This only existed in fantasy. This could only be simulated in NHL, the video game, right? I want to just sit down, soak it in, appreciate what the last three years have brought. Lou Lamarillo starts and ends with Lou Lamarillo because without Lou, there is no Barry Trotz. There's no Pajot. There's no sweeping Pittsburgh in the first round uh, of the playoffs and having home ice in that round for the first time since what, 1987, 1986? They never had home ice in our lifetime. And now, if they go to the final, they have home ice. They win tonight. Nassau, the Coliseum opens the Stanley Cup final next week. Or maybe even Sunday. It's Friday today. Maybe even Sunday. So regardless of what happens, just appreciate this, eh? 
I mean, we've been so concerned about the state of the team, not having Anders Lee throughout the entirety of this playoffs. Last year was Adam Pellick until, you know. Just sit down and, and smile, huh? Could be a lot worse. So it's not over, not by a long shot, but it's all coming together. And just for that, I think it's warrant for celebration. And it's just the New York Islanders, right? Long Island. Talk about a, a fan base more deserving that has suffered through decades of mismanagement and ineptitude when trying to make decisions for the betterment of the club and ownership groups in and out of prison before and after their tenure. More importantly than Lou Lamarillo, John Ledecky and Scott Malkin, who took over in 2016-17, inherited a team that had just won their first playoff series in 23 years at that point. And now took them from missing the playoffs by a single point that first year to realizing what changes had to be made and for making them to not just bringing in the right personnel or the right guy, but bringing in the best personnel, the best people available to lead the club, the franchise, the entire organization. And it's a trickle-down effect from there. Lou brings Barry, brings Mitch Korn, Piero Greco, Lane Lambert, John Gruden. I, I, if I... Everyone, everyone involved with this club and with their success. For taking the Barclays deal and turning that into UBS Arena at Belmont, opening... What are we, uh, we're four months away from Belmont Park, which no ownership group since the inception of this franchise was able to do was get a new arena, keep the franchise on Long Island. So with that said, game seven. Game seven, winner plays for the cup. How much do you think they want it? How much do you know that we want it? I found out, I found out Wednesday at game six, how much they wanted it. We all did. Eight PM. Get ready to work. Send us to the cup. Bring it home. The drive for five continues tonight. 